On this edition of JAG TV, find out how four students represented South and Philadelphia and walked away with a national championship. And how last week our very own ROTC put on a very special event to honor our nation's veterans. JAG TV starts now. Broadcasting from the Jaguar studio in the heart of Blue Springs South High School. This is award-winning JAG TV. Welcome to JAG TV. I'm Kirsten Gochi. And I'm Patterson Fallis. Last weekend, a group of Blue Springs South students involved in East Studies program at Independent Center took a trip to Philadelphia. Derek Hammond has the story. Last week, you might have noticed some South students missing. Well, if they're a part of CTC's e-studies class, chances are they flew halfway across the country to partake in the 2017 DECA Power Trip. South students competed in innovative entrepreneurship, where they created a business, product, or service to present to a panel of judges. So we presented an app that was a social media app, and the social media app was called One Media, and it had three solutions to the three problems that we were given. Uh, those three problems were connecting with family, community, and companionship. So we had to make an app for old people that they could stay connected with their children, grandchildren, and their community and friends. And then they could like basically find dates uh, like Tinder. So. The four of them presented their ideas in front of a mass of people. It was an innovative entrepreneurship competition where me and my team were given a persona to fix the problems of what was wrong with that persona. Um, we had 90 seconds to present this idea on stage in front of 2,500 people and me and my team won the competition each receiving a $50 gift card. Not only did these students walk away victorious, they also got to hear keynote speaker E.J. Carrion. As well as explore the city. Carter says the East Studies trip was a valuable experience he won't soon forget. Reporting for JAG TV, I'm Derek Mammon. Congratulations to those outstanding Jaguars. Now we go to Hannah Foster with an update on Jaguars forensics and debate team. Thanks, Kirsten. Our forensics and debate team recently traveled to Raymore Peculiar to compete. 23 schools attended and South placed third overall. And on a stronger note, the National Speech and Debate Association named the top 100 programs in the nation. And our debate and forensics program was ranked number 45 over 3,000 programs nationwide. This is a tremendous accomplishment for Kelly Morrill and Katie Rosinski and their students. Back over to you, Patterson. Sounds like a very successful weekend for those Jaguars. Last Thursday, Kyle Sheely came to Blue Springs South to deliver a special message to our student body. Carly Baldus has more. It just so happens that one person is exactly what you're working with. So what are we waiting for? Kyle Sheely is a professional speaker from Springfield, Missouri, who travels around the country and has spoken in 47 states across the U.S. Last week, he spoke to both Blue Springs and Blue Springs South High School. Um, I thought he was really cool. I thought that his message was really good and it's something really important for all the students to hear. It was something different. Kyle wowed the crowd with his comedic stories and touching message. He even adjusted his speech to the district-wide theme of UBU. He talked about being like that one person in our UBU theme. He basically said that if you're that one person to make someone's day, you can like achieve whatever and that person will be affected by it their whole life and they'll remember that. And so I felt like it was a really good message. I wonder what would happen on the campus of South if you guys started taking initiative like that. If more of you started saying, whose job is it? Mine. I thought Kyle's speech was very helpful to the student body. For JAG TV, I'm Carly Baldus. The annual DECA Blood Drive is coming up soon. The Blood Drive will be held all day, Friday, December 1st, and students can sign up at lunch in the week leading up to the event. To participate, you must be at least 16 years old and weigh over 110 pounds and have a signed permission slip by a parent. When we come back, we will find out how our winter sports are doing and we will see what's coming up around our school and what's been happening around the nation. When JAG TV returns. When it comes time to celebrate for any occasion and you want to stand out, why not get your own customized shirts at Big Frog? 
At Big Frog, customize your own shirt with the help of professionals at no charge and no minimum order required. Think about it, your very own shirts for your group of friends, team wear, parties, clubs, or your own small business. Stop by today, check out their large stocks of shirts to choose from, and get started on your own design. That's Big Frog located just off I-70 and Blue River Road, next to Jimmy John's. Check out their website at bigfrog.com slash independence or call 816-795-1115. Hello, I'm Dr. Dahlquist of Dahlquist Dental. We've been providing family dentistry in the Blue Springs area for the last 34 years. We go out of our way to attend your dental needs. That's why here at Dahlquist Dental, we offer IV sedation for those that need just a little bit more relaxation. We take most dental insurances and for those who need a payment plan, we offer care credit. No matter the age, anyone in your family that needs dental assistance, come see us. Locally owned and operated here in Blue Springs, Dahlquist Dental. Give us a call or visit us at our website, dahlquistdental.com. We'll see you soon. Happy Holidays from Culver's. Hi everyone, Matt Mitchell here. Just want to make sure that you know we have gift cards at Culver's. You know that feeling when you get a gift card to your favorite restaurant and inside you just, you're so excited. You just can't wait to get to your favorite restaurant and redeem that gift card. You can give that feeling to someone else this year for Christmas. So you come in and buy a gift card at Culver's. For every $25 worth of gift cards you buy, we'll give you a coupon for a free value basket. So that's right, give that amazing feeling to someone else and get free food for you. I mean, what better could it be, right? They're happy, you're happy. Happy holidays from Culver's. Welcome back to JAG TV. This past weekend, we had two cross country runners take part in the Nike Regionals with Tori Finley placing seventh and Daniel Hotelling finishing 24th. With fall sports all wrapped up now, we get a preview of our winter sports, starting with boys basketball, who looks to have a successful season this year after finishing last year going 12-12 and and losing to Columbia Rockbridge in the playoffs. I met up with head coach Jimmy Kane to get a sneak peek into this season. I'm really excited, like I am every year, just to see uh, all our newcomers uh, get a chance to do their thing. You know, there's, there's a lot of guys that have uh, put a lot of time into our program and developed and um, now they get their opportunity to, to show everybody what they can do and that always gets me excited. They have their first game at Blue Springs High School on December 7th. And boys wrestling is also starting their season soon with their first match on the 28th at Raytown. Girls basketball looks to improve on an impressive record last year of 18 and 7 with their first game on the 27th at Belton. And girls swim and dive season returns next week on Tuesday here at South down at the YMCA and a jamboree. If, if you are interested in watching some home games of South Sports, just go to jagtvnews.net, click on Watch Now, and take a look at some of the, our upcoming events, which include boys wrestling, girls basketball games, and other events going on here at South. That's it for sports. I'm Thomas Tutti with Jag TV. Thanks, Thomas. This week for reminders. I'm looking forward to next week because it's only two days long. Thanksgiving break will be from the 22nd to the 24th. If you still need to register for the ACT December 9th, make sure you get it done by November 18th as the final deadline for late registration. Our semester ends in just over a month, so work on getting your grades up and study for your finals, which will be from the 19th to the 21st of December. Lastly, help get into Christmas spirit, make sure you follow us on BSSD Radio playing Christmas music 24 hours a day and seven days a week. That's all for a reminder. Now here's Grant to fill us in with the news on the outside of South. In the city, from Wednesday the 13th through Friday the 15th, the St. John Lalande Catholic Church will be hosting a clothing sale. Each day the sale will be open from noon to 8 p.m. with all sales going to needy families in the area. Clothes will be at a discounted price for those needy families and clothing donations are much appreciated. Jason Sudeikis is coming back to Kansas City soon to help support his longtime friend in the acting business for a charity event. His friend, a Kansas City drummer, Billy Brimblecom, was involved in a car accident in 1999 and suffered major nerve damage in his leg. But in 2005, when he was experiencing a lot of pain, he accounted it to nerve damage, but he went to the doctor where they said he had a serious cancerous tumor. He was forced to have his leg amputated and still plays the drums today. 
but after what he's had to go through, he decided to start the Steps of Faith Foundation, benefiting amputees. And Jason is coming back to support an event called Thunder Going, a percussion concert in which all proceeds are going to the Steps of Faith Foundation. The concert was at the Uptown Theater on November 12th. In the state, last week, Senate elections took place around the country, and voters in Missouri are a little frustrated. AP reports came out and said that political action committees, also known as PACs, donated $400,000 to Mike Sierpret's campaign, in which turn helped him defeat Hillary Shields. Last year, Missouri voters voted to limit the amount of spending from in-state organizations, which makes people believe that outside influence controls our Missouri elections. Across the state in St. Louis, a popular bar owner's killer still has not been found a year after the crime was committed. Patrick McVeigh was the owner of Maggie O'Brien's restaurant and Irish pub. The restaurant, three miles from the Scott Trade Center, was a popular spot for before and after blues games. The reward for the killer is at $75,000. In the nation, this past Sunday, a week after the First Baptist Church of Sutherland Springs, Texas, was the scene of a brutal massacre, family and friends gathered around to mourn the loss of their loved ones together. Inside, the church was painted with red roses on each seat, effectively turning the church into a memorial. We pray for all those who lost their lives in this tragedy and all victims of gun violence. This past Sunday, NASA launched an orbital rocket with space cargo on it to deliver to the International Space Station. This is the eighth time NASA has sent supplies to the station, and this rocket had approximately 7,400 pounds of science and research, crew supplies, and vehicle hardware. That's it for City, State, Nation. Now back over to Patterson. It's now time for our Freedom Fitness Health Tip of the Week. Being active is an extremely important part of staying in shape. Dr. Oz recommends that teenagers strive to reach 10,000 steps per day. Setting a tangible and realistic goal is important to your success. 60 minutes of exercise is recommended for the average teenager, so make a point to be active and get your body moving. When we come back, we will see people running for a good cause in an assembly that went on at our school, and we have a new student of the month. When we return. All this took was a pristine SAT, ACT, and GPA. Before that, a healthy dose of travel field hockey, volunteering, the arts, and 18 years of everything else. Sending a kid to college is overwhelming. But to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. Call your financial representative, Isaiah Bragg, at 816-795-6340. Welcome back, Jags. Last week, our very own Air Force JROTC hosted a 5K run-walk to support our nation's veterans. Andrew Berg has the story. Last Saturday at 9 a.m. here at South was the annual 5K Hero Run. So what is the uh, Hero 5K run? So this is a run that we developed about uh, four years ago, and uh, basically, or three years ago, sorry. And it is a run for charities that are usually veterans oriented. This year, the run was for Honor Flight Kansas City that sends veterans to Washington, D.C. So why are you running the race? Um, I just wanted to come out here, support an incredible event that, um, you know, supports Honor Flight, um, and just get physical with it. So that's one of the things that I personally love, and if I can do it for the community, I might as well do it as well. Do it uh, with, with the community. 
Even though it was very cold, there was a great turnout for an right awesome here, so, uh, cause. We're the four people to blame for having to get out of bed early this morning, um, <laughs> but we would like to thank you for coming out. If you would like to get involved in a race next year, you can talk to Colonel Cole in the JRTC hallway by the weight room. JAG TV, I'm Andrew Berg. Great job on the run. Last Friday, we had a Veterans Day assembly. Nathan has more. This past Saturday on the 11th of November was Veterans Day. JROTC held a Veterans Day ceremony last Friday to honor our teachers and all of our nation's veterans. I was in the United States Marine Corps um, and the biggest influence I had actually when I was in middle school I met a guy that uh, was a former Marine who had served in Vietnam, uh, had done two tours in Vietnam. I grew to know him a little bit uh, in middle school and high school and uh, just because of his influence and some of the discussions that we had. Uh, I decided to go that way. Colonel Cole, Sergeant Gonzalez, Mr. Gettings, Mr. Sapp, Officer Mitchell, and Mr. Plummer were all recognized for their service. It taught me some things that as a young man in high school I may not have always had, like discipline and um, being a part of something bigger, being part of a team. You know, you get a little bit of that playing sports in school, but it really is hammered home when you're in the military and you know that you have to rely on other people and that they have to rely on you. The service of these veterans and all others are greatly appreciated. I'm Nathan Rockwell, JAG TV. If you see these teachers in the hall, thank them for their service. Uh, this November, we have a new student of the month. Say that Haley Wolf is our student of the month. Yay! Haley Wolf, congratulations. That's all for this edition of JAG TV. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat, and also on our website at jagtvnews.com. I'm Patterson Fallis. And I'm Kirsten Gochi. Have a great week. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. Sign up today.